This deep agent by Chat LLM from Abacus AI just cloned a complete website for me, including the backend. And this has been one of the most requested asks where you want to clone a website, but not just necessarily the front end, but also the backend and functionalities. And all it took me was to go to the deep agent and then just simply say, clone this website and then it opened a virtual computer within itself and then did everything for me. It did a pretty good job of creating data possible from the original version, including the functionalities like filter, rating, price range, and everything that you wanted. Not just cloning the website, DPAgent is also really, really good at creating reports, creating websites, creating dashboards from Jira, and a lot of other automations that you would need in your daily job. But for now, I'm going to show you how this happened. And also, I'm going to show you how you can create a detailed research report on something that you want without having to hire a research assistant, all thanks to DPAgent from ChatLLM. For you to clone a website, you have to just go specify what is a website that you want to clone. And once you do that, DPAgent is going to ask you a couple of questions. In my case, it said, what specific features of Zometa would you like me to clone? And do you need any backend functionality? Is there a specific purpose for this clone? Would you like to use, would you like me to use any specific technologies? I didn't answer anything. I just said, go on with whatever you have got. And then it started doing one by one. So it started analyzing the structure, copying the content, getting content from the internet when it cannot crawl. And then it created the entire layout, a color scheme, typography, components, and finally the responsive UI design elements. Once everything is there, then all it had to do was add the data to the website and then the website is available for us to preview. If you were to deploy it, you can just go ahead and then deploy it. I'm going to show you how you can do something like this from scratch, but not to clone a website rather to generate a completely detailed technical report or a research report. For a market research task like this, uh, market research companies would charge you a bomb. But in this video, I'm going to show you how you can do it with a very simple prompt and Deep Agent will do everything for you. So this is a very simple prompt that you can go ahead and then give. Market research requirement, male mental health app, 25 to 35. Per objective, primary objective is to assess the market potential, user needs, competitive landscape for launching a mental health app targeting specifically at men aged 25 to 35. So you can see it uh, has a lot of other information, but you can just say that, okay, uh, I want a detailed technical report on this particular thing. So send this. Once you send this, Deep Agent is going to analyze whatever you have given and then it is going to start asking questions. So first you can see it is evaluating. So it says, okay, thank you for providing the details. Is this a hypothetical market research? Uh, obviously, I, I don't like, no, n not hypothetical. Um, I want real data, but based on what's already available on the internet. There are typos. I'm going to just ignore it. Specific timeline, I'm not going to say anything. Um, this is ideally um, to use for a VCs, okay, to pitch my startup idea and also to decide on PFM, product market fit. So I'm going to just like, I've given this, but I've mentioned that I want real data. Once I give this, it is going to go cross check everything that it asked and also to verify whether whatever I have given is sufficient enough for it to do. At this point, you can see Deep Agent has started planning. This is the most important, crucial step in any agentic behavior. So it has to plan very well. Then once it has the list of tasks that it can do, then it will start executing the task one by one. For that, it has to do a really good, solid planning. At this point, as you can see here, it has created a folder called Market Research. It has started searching on the internet for all these keywords that are relevant to the question that we have asked. Now it has started accessing individual websites, not just the search, but also access the individual links so that it can go collect information. A few minutes later. Our report is finally ready, but what surprised me is this final statement. So during the course of this research, the deep agent found out itself that this has been taking a lot of time and then it immediately thought that it should wrap it up. And it also gave me a reason why it was taking more time. And then it says that there, there are like three different subtasks and then it created all the three different things. There are three different reports and for the three different tasks, I've got all these things as markdown and also as a PDF. I can just like download the zip archive and then start using it. See, this task would have taken thousands of dollars with the market research company. See, this kind of task, especially when you are involving a market research company, might take hundreds and thousands of dollars. But in this case, all it required for me to use one single prompt and then it did a terrific job, I would say, that going to different places on the internet and then getting the information and finally compiling it 
giving it to me in such a way that it is easily understandable for anybody who is using deep agent like i said at the start of the video it can clone website it can create reports it can do a bunch of things this is one of the most powerful agents i've seen especially in terms of the quality of the output that it gives whether it is cloning the website or whether it is creating a deep research report like this this is quite comprehensive it does a pretty good job the planning is solid let me know in the comment section what do you feel about this thing make sure you check out deep agent and then see how it works for your own use case if there is any use case that you want me to try this out with let me know in the comment section otherwise see you in another video happy prompting